Apollo, uh, we, are, we are back by popular demand with another dulls off. We are. And you and are up 1-0. Bandle has been cut. That's for Patreon Tier 7 <laughs> subscribers only, so I don't get DMC8 on YouTube. What's the price range on Tier 7? Mm, I, it's, uh, it's pay what you want, but what okay. you want to pay is $150 a month. True. Exactly. Or else you don't get the perks. You don't yeah, get the still... exclusive blog posts that haven't been updated since 2015. <laughs> you, don't get at, you don't get your name at the credits at the end of the video. None of that stuff. And those are the two Patreon jokes that you can make. <laughs> That's all I got. I can't remember the rest. Yeah. Where, where's the tier 10 Twitch subscription, you know? Like, that's what I want We need know. that. With I, even like, more exclusive emotes. Let someone pay, like, a hundred bucks a month. Why not? I think that they should make Twitch chat, like, more PvP. Like, <laughs> tier three subs should have the, the ability names. to, like, run an ad on a chatter. Like, they should be able to <laughs> do, like, a, a targeted ad towards one chatter and take them out of chat for, like, three minutes. It's brutal, man. Even an if they orbital strike. Though, it still works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's unblockable. It's like, oh, you can either support the streamer or you can fucking leave. Like, one of the two. <laughs> oh, man. Right, okay. Make sure I waited seven seconds before I said fuck. I appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, I know how it works. I've, mm. I'm, I've been cutting my VODs up, man. You, 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 hit, you go start VOD here, and then you're like, okay, one, two. Mm. Oh, Chibli said fuck. Okay, skip ahead. Yep. Okay, one, two. Oh, Chibli's swearing. He all does do that, okay. too. <laughs> if there's like two seconds of silence, Chibli will be like, my ass fucking exploded this morning or, and you gotta be like, say i can't i can't and I like, stop <laughs> you can't you can't all right that's why all your vods get demonetized man don't bring that over here all right let's start on let's start on wordle all right let's do it because i know it's your uh what this is kind of like your dull in my it, opinion it, it it is um at least my, my kind of dull i got my uh wordle spoiled the other day clicked on someone's stream worst. and that was the first thing i saw and i was like oof Hmm. Today's word is going to be this I'm right here. Guesses in. I'm going too fast. That's all right. I had the optimum first guess. It uh, had zero answers, which is better than getting oh. like one thing right. I got it in four. You got it in four. Uh, I'm in trouble. Okay. Hey. Well, hey, four's just... average. Four's average. Check this out. It's not the first time I've said that either. Um, this is going to be... I, do you ever not be able to think of a word? Constantly. I will, <laughs> I will I tell say, you, I, I do not think I'm going to get it in four. <laughs> I, you, I mean, we'll see. You never know. I, I could have gotten it in two, but I just I, I was in the right area code, but I wasn't with the right letters. Mm, okay, I had the right, yeah. the right like, order of operations, you know? My man just didn't guess... You did not guess toots. You got a problem with toots? <laughs> 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 I, I don't know what, like, that was kind of a throw. Uh, I know what, um, it's s steepy. I mean, this, this is for, like my, to tie, I have to get this one right. Yeah. So it's probably going to be, oh, it wouldn't be stims. I don't even know if that's a word, to be honest with you. That's a, that's a Tarkov. That's, that's just a video game word. I, I use it in real life all the time. Up. Still, still, this is going to do it, man. Oh! I'm so sorry. <laughs> sting. But you got it now. Still. Sting. Sting. St Michael Stipe. Mm. St stiff. Mm, well done. Yeah, uh, dude, that was pretty good. Yeah, I so I my second guess was shill. That's so a really like good all, guess. I was all over it, and then, then hey, I check this swift. out. My second guess was catch. <laughs> so you could probably yeah. understand why I was a little bit uh, in trouble on that one. Yeah, only a T. Not really gonna help you that much. It's all right. We get it back I, I, on I mean, Dwardle. Toots was, you could have, you, I feel like Toots was a bit of a throw. <laughs> but imagine if it was right. Uh, is I this? Don't, there's no plurals. There's no plurals in Wordle. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. 
Uh, is is this Dordal by Zarathustra? Yes, yes, it is. Okay, a new a new daily Dordal. I'm gonna go outside the box here. We're gonna go. We're gonna start with this. This is the one oh. that you said is the hardest. I think this one is the most you're the most likely to lose. <laughs> what um, makes this uh, easier than Quartal? I think Quartal, you have so many guesses that oh. you you have more guesses. I think per word, maybe I don't know. What? Do not tell me this is the word on on the right. <laughs> oh, I'm throwing. Oh, <laughs> oh already... my God! I think I got the left one in two. I am throwing on the right one. What? <laughs> Bro, I'm four guesses in. I don't have either word, man. How is this possible, man? Are you are you tunneled right now? Well, I got four yellows. Oh no, I've got. Oh, three greens on the right, no. and then two grays all the way down. I just keep, it keeps going. Oh, this is the word. This is wrong, too. It's over. Okay, wow. Yeah, I have left in three. I have right in five. <laughs> okay, okay. This is big. Um, For me, this is big. Um, what? How about something like that? Oh, <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 okay. This isn't it. I might actually lose, I think. Oh. Okay, I won, but it took all the guesses. I think that the... Right word is roast. Oh, I've completed the daily dordle. You you got me, dude. You want to, my fucking, wait, I can't see my guesses, can I? Wait, how do I go back and see my guesses? Itch.io does not have that functionality yet. Okay, now here we go. My left, my guesses on the right were stain, blast, gas, yeast, and roast. Oh, no. <laughs> I, was, I was getting cooked, man. It was brutal. I forget my, my first word, but it got four yellows on the left. And I was like, let's go. Laced is a little bit That's a tricky word. There's a, lot of th there's a lot of things you can go in there. It was place. Right. Place was my first word. Place was the wordle the other day. Holy, I, I didn't know. I'm unburdened mm -hmm. with knowledge. Okay, you got me two to one right now. Yes. Quartal. I should, like, keep track, but I'm lazy. Is this on the Merriam-Webster website? This is the Merriam-Webster quartal. It's so sad that Merriam-Webster has to resort to debauchery like this to market their dictionary. Back in the day, you used to just be like, hey, it's January 1st, time to update your dictionary. Now they got to trick you into being top of mind with daily puzzles and stuff like that. Society Bro. is truly cooked. I did my like my meta series of guesses and uh, I'm I'm low. I got very few greens and yellows already. I that am not good. On the other hand, I'm cooking you. <laughs> oh, that's a great first word, apparently. Oh no, is it fucking over for me? Hmm. Well, I mean, there are four words here, so it's it's tough. This is the word. That is known as this. Oh, I got top left word in two. <laughs> okay. I, I'm four guesses in without a word. Well, this, no, I have this. Yeah, no, I have bottom right, right? I do. Okay, we're in there. This is where I, I got to play oh. by feel. I got top right. Hey, you just relax a little bit. I got top left. All right. How many guesses have you made? Uh, I have, uh, wait, two, four, six. I've made seven guesses. So if oh, I get okay. the bottom left, I'll have it in, um, in, in seven? No, eight. I'll have it in eight. The bottom left, I, I should have this. It's this word. It's the only word that fits for the top right. Thank you, brain. Then, okay, okay. What is this word? <clears throat> Bottom left is out of control, man. 
Bottom left, there's only one word it could be. Dobby. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> Bo- dude, bottom, I, I have four letters in bottom left, and I don't know what the hell it is. What? Is this a word? No. Hmm. <laughs> I had to try. Bottom left, bottom right must be this word. I've crunched the numbers. It's the only word that fits. Wow. <laughs> You are there are there is. are there plurals in quartal? No, uh, no. I mean, sometimes you get kind of screwed when it's like a plural that's also like a verb or something. Bro, well, forget bottom left. Bottom right is is uh, bottom impossible. Left is all I have left, man. I don't know what the fuck it is. It's there's no vowels. Have you noticed that? <laughs> <laughs> there's none vowels in it. If it's this, it has to be this. You know what it is? It's this, bro. It's the only thing that makes sense. It is this. I got it. Right when you said that, it unlocked my fucking brain. The thing that it never is? Yes. Okay. Did you see the uh, Twitter video about uh, House, which is like, why is every House episode like this? And then the patient, uh, they're like, or the doctor is like, Dr. House, a uh, patient has sick. And then Dr. House says, did you give them health medicine? And then the <laughs> doctor says, yes, I gave them health medicine. And then he says, you idiot, health medicine will kill them. And, and anyway, you should, it's I've, pretty good. I've, I've seen that. I'm with you. I get it. You, okay. I've also seen lots of episodes of House, but not me for too, a while. Me too, me too. Okay, hang on. I need to get... The bottom right. I have three guesses with which to do it, and I have two green letters. If you get it in one, you beat me. If you get it in two, you tie me. So you, what you're saying is you were kind of cooking. No, I mean, bottom left had me all fucked up. As in the brothers? <laughs> the bro- oh, yes, the brothers. The brothers Grimm? Why are there two M's in that? Wait, why do you, why would you ever need two M's like that? I don't know. I don't have an answer for you. Bring! Oh! Oh, we did the same thing I did. (laughs) Ring! Yep, yep. Like, like with a towel? That's crazy, man. That's a tie. I'm just happy I'm... You know, I didn't get blown out in the word games. True. True, Holy, true. Holy, so, that's... So still 2-1, still two, basically. 2-1. Two, one. So. Two, yeah, 2-1-1. Two, one, one. And then they, Dr. House, the, the, they're like, oh, he's got a disease because he's been getting uh, bitten by mice in his house. And then he goes, you fools, he'll die if he doesn't get mouse bites. Give him more <laughs> mouse bites. And it's, a, it's a really good video. Anyway. I, I believe it, dude. How, that's... that's Pretty much how the show went every episode at least all the ones i remember i watched a season of it uh at a summer job that i had on my friends like ipod touch or whatever and it blew my mind i was like this is gonna be another boring medical show where like guy comes in with disease and then they treat the disease and you're like no idiot he comes in with disease and then it's like the ninth thing you would expect like you have to be a, a genius to figure it out the uh, the episode I remember, which now looking back on, I feel like is kind of dumb, is where they're on a plane and mm-hmm. a dude has the bends on the plane. <laughs> and I'm like, how would a medical professional not recognize the bends so true. on a plane? It takes them the whole damn episode to be like, oh, he's got the bends. What was it? Was the cure like they had to submerge him in a submarine for like a couple hours? Land, land the damn plane. Oh, land the plane. Land the plane. Mm. All right. What what do we do after those? Uh, I'll give you dealer's choice because we did. We have Wordle. We have like movie stuff to do. We have Globe stuff to do. We have game stuff to do. Poke Doku. Poke Doku. Oh God. Any day of the week, I'll 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 go ball for bar ball for ball with you and Poke Doku. You love Pokey Doku, man. Who's this little freak in the top left? It's like a real person. That's Ultima Reload. Hmm. Okay, Fire, Water, Electric. That should be easy enough, right? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. You're right. This, this one doesn't seem that bad. 
It doesn't, yeah, well, you're cooked. Honestly, you're cooked. Um, I mean, I'm going to take the easy ones on one of these. Uh, okay, you're, you're toasted on that one. That's it, it, I'm three for three so far. That never happens. This is a possible nine for me. That doesn't happen very often. Uh, there's a lot of Gen 1 in here for sure. Don't insult me. I have one uh, Pokemon so far that's not from Gen 1. I know what you're going to say. What gen is it wait. from? And then you know what is I'm going to say. I don't wait, wait. know. Let's, let's not be stupid here. Let's be nice and, and easy. What about this, though? Is, how's, your, uh, how's your mega knowledge? <clears throat> My mega knowledge well, is not great. I was about to ask you a question, okay? Are, are mega evolutions and GMAX the same thing? No. Okay, never mind. You just, you My. saved me. Oh, they're so smart. I typed in mega and it's like, we're not going to yeah. help you. You can't scroll down and find that. Oh, Is primal the same thing as omega evolved? Sort he he of? I think, I think yes, but like it's weird. Because it's the same general thing, but like primal. Primal only works for the legendaries. I'm going to be oh, honest with you. It says at the top, it says primals do not count as megas. Oh, ah, <laughs> so true. Okay, I never read. I got to tell you, I'm, I'm at eight out of nine with one guest remaining. Uh, I'm about I'm to put down five. a. I'm about to put down a perfect score. If I could just think of a, a, me a mega <laughs> electric Pokemon. How did you know? Because that's uh, what I, I'm stuck on. Um, mm. Yeah, I mean, my ass should just do the obvious ones here. I don't know. You get more points for getting like less known ones, but it's who cares, true. Man? It's true. So I have eight points, which means I don't think I've <laughs> probably have taken the most common result for every possible answer. Who's a big Okay, I'm with you on eight out of nine now. I just need a mega a mega electric. Oh fuck's sake, man. <laughs> Why is they make good electric types, bro? There's, what are the, <sighs> they make, going they make good going, ones. I'm going through my knowledge. I'm going through my knowledge because I played Omega Ruby, Alpha Sapphire. Did I, oh my God, I had one of these. Hold on. I shiny hunted one of these. He shiny hunted a, uh, uh. And then it evolves into a... Uh, I'm 9 out of 9. I'm just being real with you. I don't think I... I don't think I can get it. I'm racking my brain. <clears throat> I'm, I'm putting in shit I didn't even know. Did you know there's a Pokemon called Reggie Leaky? <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Lecky? Yeah, man. And he doesn't go mega. Like, he's pre mega or something? Oh, dude. He's from uh, hmm. Sword and Shield? Elec... Hang on, I'm you scrolling. You type electric in, you know? What's the worst that could happen? Electric. <laughs> <sighs> Electros. Oh, there's literally only two electric oh, megas is what no, I'm saying here. No, so no. you need one of the two. And it's, it's crazy. You know how many times I've typed in Electabuzz? I've typed in Electabuzz like 50 times. Because I always, I go back to Pokemon Go and I'm like, what are your top DPS Electric type Pokemon, Magnezone is a gimme. Uh huh. Never mind. What I the... got it literally by typing Magna, and there's a Manectric Mega in here. Oh my God. He'll we'll take it. Holy. We'll take it. Okay, another Urshi type. Or Shifu Rapid Strike is the water type. <clears throat> Shifu Rapid Strike. What the fuck, dude? Or Shifu Rapid Strike. It says it's a water type, man. I don't get it. Average score today was 8.5. Embarrassing. <laughs> Dude, you're right. There are two. I mean, it just look at these names, bro. Thundurus <sighs> Incarnate. Ogrepan the... Hearthflame Mask. Like, what are we doing here? The, the, the fucking tornado bros, the cloud bros, man. Who cares? <laughs> I, just, I don't even know what I'm looking at anymore. 
Darmanitan Galar Zen. It's a snowman luchador giving two thumbs up simultaneously and it has a f fire shooting out of its head. I've never heard of that. Is that from the DLC or some shit? Like, what? what is that? Belly Bolt kind of sick with it, though. Belly Bolt, is a, <laughs> that's, a, that's a fan favorite from the new one, dude. Oh, man. He, he's just living his life. Any Pokemon where, like, your wife could take a picture of it and send you the picture and say, this is you? <laughs> that's destined to be a fan favorite. That's why I, I, I love Slowbro so much. Not Slowbro Mega, although me and who? Um, but I appreciate Slowbro's, his vibe. I, I really don't know what they were going for with the Mega. I'm just looking at it, like, still. Like, the dude getting eaten by the a, shell? Is he having a good time? Is he having a bad time? I think it's like a commensalist arrangement. Okay, a biology term. I got you. <laughs> I'll never forget. Uh, it's the question I lost school on. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a sore spot. Okay, two. You're two, one, and two. Two, one, and two. Yeah. Like my on. defensive structure in FIFA. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Um, no. No. <laughs> Bro, we gotta do uh, we gotta do frames today. Have you ever done framed? I've 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 done framed before, um, but you will probably win. But we'll, I'll give it a shot. I know how it works. What is going on here? I thought that this was literally a movie that I watched last week on the bike. I thought this was a documentary called Fire of Love, but it is this not. This is. This is. I need you to not get this one, ideally for me. So they don't have journey, journey to the center of the world. That's that's crazy. I I don't know what this is. Well, they got like a dude throwing like books into a whirlpool, man. How are you supposed <laughs> to figure that out? You know this this could be like. This could be this movie. No, okay. Wow, frame two has uh, really swapped it around here. You're only on number two, huh? I'm on, I'm on number four, and I know the actor, but I still could not tell you. I'm going to skip because I don't know what this is. Who are you? I can tell you what this is on number five. Okay. Is that J.K. Simmons? It is J.K. Simmons. Bro, I, he's in... What is this? I got to put some more respect on this movie. I didn't know it had a shot like this. Like, what, what's going on in this shot right here? This you is so, like, five? 1960s National Geographic documentary coded. I've never... This is... I give up. This, okay, I lose. <laughs> I lost. I've not seen this movie. Or I, I feel like I may... Is this the one where the, the killer swaps the body with the girl? I thought that this... Wait, maybe I'm getting this confused with I Know Who Killed Me. Isn't she dead and then she comes back as like a, a, she murders bad people, something like that? Nope, Bro, it's not I'm that not either. <laughs> she's, a, she's a succubus in this movie. Okay, she's a succubus. Okay. She gets possessed okay. by a demon. Okay. All right. Daily Dozen? Oh, I, I've, I've been doing this every day now, and I call it Lose It Trivia. It's time to lose it trivia. <laughs> it is. It's my favorite of the dulls, I think, and I hate to give daps to Barstool. Yeah, they got Super Bowl colors on this now. Also, like, I always get at least two of the sports questions wrong, but usually three. But then I, I usually make up for it on the back end. A top oh. five pick from the 2017 draft. This running back totaled 135 yards and one touchdown for Tampa Bay during their Super Bowl 45 win in 2021. That's probably not uh, 45, is it? Is it? Is it this guy? Is it this guy? I got it right. I remembered his name. Thank God. His name is Saquon Barkley. Wrong. <laughs> no. Thank God. A football question from recent times. I can remember names. In October 2018, Derek Rose dropped a career-high 50 points while playing for this Fuck. Western Conference team. I thought he was on this team. I got it wrong. So Derek Rose was on the Chicago Bulls. 
But then That's he, what I guess. Then he was traded after lots of injury concerns to another team, which is known by the name of the... It, there's simply no other option. It must be mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Phoenix Suns. Wrong. <laughs> I, I I just knew he was on the Bulls, so I didn't realize he was traded. Um, soccer's gonna be an instant lose for me. Oh well, maybe I just need to guess the country. No wait, the names here are these names. I'm in. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I got. I what? did get the the soccer question. Okay, I'll just guess this then. Nope, I got it wrong. They're not French names. Well, close. This English author and poet is known for Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. I feel like I'm playing the wheel right now, man. You got a, you got some problems here. <laughs> I do. It's probably some dude with two initials and then a name or some shit. They usually are, man. It's a man... And both of his, his first and his last name are both first names. That's not going to help. I appreciate the, the, the hint, but I'm, it's one of those where like, oh, yeah, I'll recognize it when I see it. But mm -hmm. see, I don't, I don't have the trivia brain. I can't go into the files and pull the book out and, and open it up and find the name. I, I need someone to shine a fucking flashlight or like a, a black light on like a hidden poster. And be like, oh, that is the name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, just type. That metaphor uh, was wild. Just type. John Grisham. I'll type John Grisham. There he is, John Grisham. It wasn't John Grisham. How, how could you do this to me? This, uh, dude, I think celebrity mashup's gonna be tough today. Who is that dude? I think the lady is uh, this. I think it's her. I, here's my problem with the lady one here. There's a lot of ladies with that yes. color hair. And, yeah. Right now, I've got a soft penciled in Kelly Ripa, but I do also think that this could be Julie Bowen, the um, the mom from Modern Family. I'm ruined because I definitely don't recognize the dude. We're just gonna type a John in, and we're gonna yes, <laughs> you got it. <laughs> it took all the confidence I had, I could muster in myself. All right. It will, I, will, I will free you. You probably do not know the dude. I, I definitely didn't recognize his mm. face. I guessed Cameron Diaz for the mm. lady. That's a good guess. Chex what? Mix sells this frosted and filled squares variety under what name? Bro, they have something else other than Chex Mix? <laughs> I'm sorry, this is just... I'm going to type in Chex Mix. This is min... It's not I, Mini Miffins? I honestly have no idea. You're telling me it wasn't Mini Miffins, dude. That's crazy. Squares? What is a squares variety? I, I straight up didn't know they had anything other than just default Chex Mix. I thought that was just their thing. Well, I got that one wrong. <laughs> it happens, it happens. Well, unfortunately, we're in your strongest suit of the trivia section. I've only got one right, so no, okay. you might be taking this one. I got, yeah, television. Known for playing Christopher Moltisanti in The Sopranos, this actor had a major supporting role during season two of The White Lotus in 2022. Bro, I straight up skipped it. There's no shot. Oh... I know, I thought his name was like, nah, I don't know if I'm going to get this one. <sighs> ah, I think that's him. Yes! <laughs> Sorry for the pop-up. No, you I saw, it's I, already over. I swear to you, I saw a video yesterday of him talking about him guest starring on The Office as like a Taekwondo sensei. 
And that like that's why his first name was near top of mind. And then all I had to do was scroll through everybody with the same first name, which was a hundred thousand people, but Bro, I've got a sea of red and then one green on <laughs> NFL. Dude, this is tough. Omar Epps replaced Wesley Snipes as Willie Mays Hayes in this nineteen ninety four sports comedy sequel. White men still can't jump. <laughs> Oh, well, come on. The 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 music one's insulting. Mm. Oh yes, it's, it's so easy. It's insulting. I would love to get this Omar Epps one. Sports comedy sequel. You don't see too many sports comedy sequels. Mm. Yeah, I had not heard of this. I mean. It's 94. I would have been uh, one years old. I wasn't watching too many Wesley Snipes movies at this point in my life. I have absolutely no idea what it could be. <laughs> I was shockingly close on the snacks and candy one. <laughs> oh. Whatever. All right, I tapped out at five. I got two. Lewis Carroll, Belgium. What? I what? Oh, hang on. Celebrity mashup is six percent. Oh, that's like the <laughs> biggest hit I think I've ever gotten. Uh, that is huge. I've Lewis Carroll had twenty six percent. Who? Who is Kelly Ripa and who's okay. David Arquette? <laughs> David Arquette is. Um, an actor, most famous perhaps for the Scream films, uh, and also um, Eight Legged Freaks, and the movie oh, Ready to Rumble. I do. I have seen Eight Legged Freaks. He is the officer of the law. Mm, in that good, fun movie, I remember. But I was a kid, so maybe it's bad. I don't know. What how's how do people feel about Eight Legged Freaks? I think it's a a decent, like deliberate B movie. And then Kelly Ripa took over for Kathy Lee Gifford on Live with Regis and Kelly. Yeah, that's not going to ring any bells here. <laughs> what she has done for long enough that now she's like probably older than Regis was when she took over. That's scary. How about connections? We're 2-2-2. Two, two, two. Okay. Are we 2-2 are we two, two, or did you go 2-3? I think we're. Oh, you know what? I mean, we are. You're two. Th you're, you're two, two three. three now. Okay, yeah, 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 because of Jennifer's body. Jennifer's Did you see body. the um, the connections post that went viral on Twitter, where like two days ago, SpongeBob Square and Pants were all on it? I and, did. I. I yes. Yeah. It's a good one. All right. Are we? Are we? We're doing time, right? Oh, that's right. Time. Okay. Okay. I have to mute. Am I muted? Am I muted? Am I muted? Okay, bathtub, showbiz, shuffle, you shuffle a deck of cards. This is something you do on uh, iTunes. You shuffle, skip, rewind, and stop. These are buttons on a VCR. <laughs> Music, okay, yeah, 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 good. Card, picture, net, internet. Intertoe, undertoe, undertoe, under, undercard, undertoe, air, ether, eon, run, three letter words, it's too weak, screen, show, run, Picture, you could air a grievance, you could air something out, you could picture this, screen something, show something, screen something, picture something, air something. This is to put it on television. No, what? Broadcast, okay, good. Two mistakes, th two mistakes remaining, right? Ether. Ether, net, 
tow, cable, ether cable, net cable, picture frame, bath tub, curtain rod, t tow hitch, bath tub, bathroom, card room, net, fishing net, butterfly net, birthday card, birthday picture, tow truck, curtain truck, eon, a length of time, arrange it to one, arrange it to two, Arrange it to three, arrange it to ten. These are anagrams of numbers. Oh! <laughs> Time? Uh, you smoked, smoked. I, I'm, I'm about to lose. <laughs> One of these is the hardest connections phenotype I've ever seen in my life. I, I got one right. I could not understand what was going on. One of these is going to piss you off. <laughs> The only reason I'm not pissed off is because I got it miraculously. So I'm like, that's pretty fair. But if I hadn't gotten it, I would be like, this is not fair at all. Number anagrams is just impossible. Yes. That's not... I, I, was, I was like, things you can take. It was things you can draw, man. <laughs> I was like, oh, you can take a bath. You can take a picture. Mm -hmm. And you can take a... What was the other thing I had? Uh, what did I... Oh, yeah. I said you could take a run. <laughs> that was not right. Okay. And I didn't, I couldn't find another take. I think I got lucky with number anagrams because I, uh, I only had eight things left at that point. If I had, if, if anybody got number anagrams as their first category, you should immediately start working for the CIA. Yeah, that's absurd. You and Rainbolt should go into like a buddy cop sort of espionage thing together. I think I, 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 I should have gotten the broadcast one. That I think the pressure got to me on there, the time pressure. Oh, man. Things you can draw. You know, it was definitely harder than the connections from the other <laughs> day. Uh, take me back to SpongeBob SquarePants, man. That Dude, was I know, right? Oh. Uh. We right. okay. I, I think I need a boost. Now. Yes, so your you choice. Wanna, you want to hit that? I think my best shot is Mario. <laughs> okay, okay. The only, the only one I stand a decent chance of winning automatically. Mario Hurdle dot glitch dot me. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All right. Into the breach. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> I know this, and I'm I'm mad. He's hitting the shit out of that marimba, bro. What is this? Oh, I'm so mad. I know this. I think this is... Oh, I'm going to lose my fucking mind. Game. Okay. I'm, I got the genre right, so I'm one step closer. Is this this? Oh, when the second bar is the same as the first. <laughs> oh, you got it, dude. Oh, that songs where the second bar repeats the first bar, greater than symbol, greater than symbol. I've got the series on the first guess. Oh, because it's because it's this because it's this. It's this. It's this. How about a little? I'm going to have to call that um, Mount Rugged. Oh, I, I have, have the, the game. Con I have the console. I have the game, and it's just a matter of getting the song right. I don't listen to more. Of this. I'm not even listening to the song anymore. Songs where the third bar is the same as the second bar and the first bar, greater than symbol. <laughs> I I I've played this one, dude. Of course you have, because it couldn't be anything else is other than. Oh, I have the game, but I don't have the fucking song. <laughs> It must be. Oh when, my God! When you get inside the castle walls, <laughs> slider. <laughs> the game is incorrect. <laughs> how am I? How am I getting this wrong? Still. 
Oh, it must be. Um... Oh, oh da -da -da -da. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Which one haven't I guessed yet? Wait, but what's the? This one? Okay, I got it right on the last one. Finally, it, I had to guess through every single fucking song from the game. <laughs> I'm so mad. But this is pissing me off. Cause, what's the second one called? <laughs> He doesn't know the name of the game, dude. You actually could, if you get the game, you could beat me, actually. Because I think you know the game. This shit is, it's Yoshi, bro. It <laughs> is Yoshi. <laughs> but it's Yo Yoshi's story is the second one. There we go. This song must be, uh, this in my head. That doesn't sound like Song of Happiness to me. I mean, I guess I would say that's Yoshi's song because that's the song that plays in Smash 64 when you're on Yoshi's stage. Oh! My ass lost on the Mario hurdle, dude. <laughs> Context. <laughs> Yo, the oboe's kind of killing it in uh, Mario hurdle. <laughs> This is, this is my Jackbox Wednesday. No, no, no. Go. There's a Zelda <laughs> hurdle, right? Oh, yeah, but it's ass. Yeah, but we let's try, try it. Because my odds yeah, of getting try. this right are, are effectively zero. Yeah, my odds of getting this right are effectively zero because it's always Hyrule Warriors or some shit. <laughs> Zelda hurdle. I already don't. I think just from the first note, I don't think I've heard this. Give me a give me this game. <laughs> how how I, are you supposed to? I got the game on the first try, but it's not. Well, I haven't played this one. <laughs> Wrong game. I got the game on the first try, but I have to guess the random ass song from the game I haven't played. <laughs> oh, you haven't played. Okay. I have played. I didn't finish it. This shit is orchestral. It is loud. I'm sorry. I know it's loud. <laughs> turn your uh, turn your speakers down, okay? Oh, you know what? It's probably this. I I cannot believe I got it right. I actually cannot believe it. Is this Milk Bar from A Link Between Worlds? Oh, it is the correct He's game. Got the game, dude. Imagine you beat my ass on this again. It's all right, orchestra. No rush to get to like a melody or anything. This is it. It has a certain phantasmagal uh, over to it. I think this could be when you enter the lost woods and you're supposed to be torn between gazing and wonder, but also like confusion. It's not lost woods, okay? They dead ass said, write me a song with no notes in it, huh? <laughs> How, did, you got it in, in five? I, I got it on the last one, I think. Yeah, last one. I'm, so I can could. only... I think I'm going to get it in one or two. Because my musical literacy tells me this is either Cave or Ice Ruins. Okay. It's not Cave. I don't even need to listen to the rest. Give me Ice Ruins. I got it! <laughs> Impossible. <laughs> I played the Link Between Worlds, but I don't know. You did? I, I didn't finish it, but I played I it for a bit. I also didn't finish it. I'm not a 2D Zelda guy. I don't, I don't no, mess with the 2Ds. Man. I, I mean, I immediately did not know that it was Link Between Worlds, though. Yeah, I mean, when you get orchestral like that, and it sounds nice, and it's not recognizable from the main games, it's usually Link Between Worlds. But also, mm. like I said, Zelda Hurdle sucks because they like Link Between Worlds... The Link's Awakening remake and Hyrule Warriors. That's like 90% of Zelda hurdles. And it's just that's the three games I haven't played. I mean, with God as my witness, I, I could get a lot of, well, I could get a few Zelda songs from context with multiple guesses, but I could not tell you, like, I know, hey, you, hey, you. Mm -hmm. that's, that's, song? that's Song of Epona. That's Song of Epona, Epona song. What's the one that goes, um, okay, I know th opening theme. 
Main theme. Main Zelda, theme. The Legend of Zelda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then. No, I can't conjure That's anymore. It. Okay, knowing only the main theme and a bonus song is kind of interesting. <laughs> Dude doesn't know Zelda's lullaby, Song of Storms, Gerudo Valley. Okay, what, which like, one's Song of Storms? Okay, I know that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, oh, the Zelda's lullaby. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right, all right. That's Super Mario Sunshine. You can't trick me. That's Delfino <laughs> Plaza. <laughs> yep, you got it. Do <laughs> um, guess the game. I gotta win okay. something, man. Guess I gotta game. win something. Fuck. This, can I interest you in some orange? <laughs> <laughs> this, okay, hold on. I'm going color palettes, themes. Yep. Polygons. Give me, give me like a... Give me like a, give me like a, give me like, give me like a, give me, give me this one. Nope. It's this game right here. Just so you know. I've, I've lost the thread on the second image completely. This must be, this color palette only exists in one game. What? I have got oh. it in two. <laughs> it's a Sony, it's PlayStation, man. I don't know this shit. Some dude, maybe I should get like four and a half hours of sleep more often. I've never felt this smart. You knew what this was. The the portal in number oh, two is, is a dead this? giveaway. Uh, yeah, it's, it's it's uh, what would this be? Oh, you know, this is probably Persona Three because it just got re released, isn't it? Nope. Sorry, this is Persona uh, Two. Obviously, this is Persona Two. It's Persona Four. Number four came out on the damn PS2. It did. It did. Can we get number five on like current gen? I, it happened? is crazy. Well, they released a couple of fighting games in between. <laughs> what happened, man? <laughs> oh. I think this this was a, like a late PlayStation 2 game. Like this was like one of the last releases for the PS2 where you're like, I'm keeping so it around like, for this. So like 2015? <laughs> no, I think it, it must have been like 2009 or something like that. That's still crazy. It is. It was like several years after the after the PS3 came out. Well, you got any other... Uh... Bro, I'm running out of things I can do that, man. I'm <laughs> we still we got the guest of games or, or game dolls. I, I, I'll be on... Oh, yeah, game dolls. We can do game dolls. I'll be real. I've, I've been kind of killing it on the globe-related ones. I might oh, be able okay. to come back there. All right, let's, let's game, game it up, and then, we'll, then we'll, we can globe it up. Okay, game one. Oh, I, you're dusted. I, I do not know what this is. Got it in one. But I'm going to say that because it looks like Pokemon, it must be Pal World. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was this, 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 yeah. Oh, it okay. is Pal World, okay. okay. That's Ty artwork, artwork. Bro, is this motherfucking like this game? He's typing Helldivers too. No, it's not the game I thought it was. I think it's this game. Oh, when my when your ass guesses one and it's another game from the same series, I got it in three. You got it in three. I am going to get it in. I got it in two. It's Destiny uh, two. I guess Destiny one, man. <laughs> Why is this happening, dude? This has to be like the biggest game of all time that I have no idea what happens in it. It's just an MMO. You shoot guns. Game Dole. Okay, Game Dole guess. It's it, it, Honestly, we both win if one of us gets it, I think. I would agree <laughs> with that. Point. Can I tell you this something? Shit. Did you do it yesterday? Um. Oh, wait. Huge. The, the, sorry, I put a guess in. No this problem. Is, no this problem. Huge. This is rare Game Dole moment. Do you see rare Game Dole moment? Mm, I guess if I type Dark Souls 2, I'll see a rare Game Dole moment. Nope. <laughs> no, you do. You should see a rare game though moment. Should see. Hmm. A game that has 
Single player, some combination no, of single player, you, multiplayer, and cooperative. No, brother, you, you, re- reverse engineer, man. There's a there's a section here that tells you so much. Oh. And it's so rare. You're right. It's it's on none platforms. It's on none platforms, dude. Oh. oh, that is that is interesting. Oh well, it must. It simply must what? be this then. I have only further <coughs> been confused now. What? <clears throat> Is not, isn't it? Um, <laughs> is this a is this a Wii game? It's not a Nintendo game. Oh, I see. We went in two different directions because you. Oh. Uh, I don't even want to tell you. I don't want to well, tell you what I thought versus what you thought. But it has to be. It can't be VR. VR is PC. So oh oh. Mm. Um um. It's over for me. Like <laughs> they have exclusives on on this. <laughs> this has is it to like be... yeah. fucking <laughs> this i got the uh, perspective i can't believe it's not it's not that honestly i re- i guess the game the game has no themes the themes are blank I also guessed a game with no themes and it's blank, but my game was from 2012, which was not a game. Okay, so we're, we all know Candy Crush Saga. All right. It's not we're Candy all, Crush. <laughs> <laughs> we're all familiar with Candy Crush Saga. Uh, is it this? Oh, oh, I've got, I've got the, oh, good. I've got the developer, man. Really? Great. Yeah, that, that's super not fucking helpful. That's crazy to me. Is it this? Oh, they've made a lot of games, brother. They've made a lot of games. I don't even know what to guess. It's... I was given... I got my hint. I've been given the genre, and my brain is broken. I'm sorry. You can do this on mobile? You can do this on mobile. Is this, like, some fucking, like... (laughs) What? Okay, okay. So I, oh, wait a second. This could be like a... Um, uh, um, uh, like a... Uh, you know what I'm saying? I think I have to like almost concede here because I don't have n- mobile knowledge. And I have the dev and the genres and I don't know what this is. I mean, it's not, it's not this. I am, I like you, I am at a loss for what I could guess. I got the game engine as well. I've, I've got almost everything at this point. Like, it's not Garena Free Fire. It's not Genshin Impact? <laughs> it's not Genshin Impact. Is it, it was this, well, this wasn't a mobile game. What? Oh, is it, I, um, uh, the, um, you know, the one... Uh, you know the one. Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I think, oh, I think. I don't know what, I don't even know what to guess. I can't progress the game. I think I know. Mm-hmm. I remember. Oh, no, I remember this. I think I, because I think a bunch of people, mm, Oh, I don't know. I think I'm fucked. Type some random shit in. Is this Zack and Wiki quest for Barbarossa's <laughs> treasure? That's not so unfortunate. Oh! Oh, oh my god. I remember the commercials for this fucking game. I don't know what anything else of these people made, bro. I already guessed. Uh, I have the game, and I'm pissed because I remember seeing commercials for this game over and over. <laughs> Mario is missing. I've conceded. <laughs> oh, I never would have gotten I believe this. You muted yourself. Oh, I never would have gotten this. That being said, yeah. I did watch uh, about six minutes of a Twitch televised tournament for this game. 
Mm -hmm. And I had absolutely no idea what was happening at all. <laughs> I can't believe the same company has apparently made all of these games. Yeah. That's wild. Can we got to do keywords? We got to do keywords? Okay, I will do it just for you. I'm going to get it in one. Because I have played this game. Tell me it's not Tetris. I am not going to get it in one. You know, tell me it's not that. You tell me it's not that. Hmm. Oh. I've gotten it in two. I got it in like six because <laughs> it gave me the word packing. <laughs> That's a big one. That was helpful. That was a helpful clue. Let's go. Let's globe it up. Okay. Globla. Globla. I... Okay. I'm going to I'm going to try so hard. Imagine you got it on the first guess. I'm two guesses in, so... Nope. Uh, well, has anybody ever figured out what the maximum distance you could be away on your first guess is? Because I think I might have gotten it. Like, I've never seen a first guess uh, shade be this white before. Like, this is... Oh, no, I'm stupid. So, in theory, if I spin the globe exactly 180 degrees... Son of a bitch. It must be this. Oh, I don't, <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I'm next to the country, but I don't think I know the country. I'm, I'm in trouble, man. I'm, I'm cooked. No, I don't think you are, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get this. Which is so sad, because I feel like I've been here a thousand times, and I know the country, but... I thought there was another one of these here. <laughs> I'm 415 kilometers away. I'm zero, dude. Zero away. <laughs> um, but I, I don't. Okay, okay. Mm. Okay, all right. Okay, I see what you're cooking. I see what you're cooking over here. Do you have it yet? I'm adjacent to the answer. I think you're going to get it because you know, I, I don't know this country. I did get it, uh, but I, it did take me 12 guesses. Oh, I'm only on my seventh, but... Okay, you got you get time oh, then. Oh, come on. It's not cooked the ivory. It is mm. next to Guinea. There's two countries here, I'm pretty sure. And I don't know either of them. This this little this little space between Ivory Coast and Guinea's got two countries. I mm -hmm. thought there was another Guinea, but Equatorial Guinea's way the hell over there. Yeah, it's always confusing. I thought there was like a third Guinea, but I'm, maybe I'm thinking of Papa New Guinea. That's definitely not that one. <laughs> oh, what even is... Uh, doesn't matter what that one is. It features in a famous Kanye West song. It was a single Bruh. off of his second album, Late Registration. Is this uh, a poop, a scoopity poop? It is scoopity poop. Oh, okay. I'm typing in scoopity poop. <laughs> a scoopity poop not found in database. Okay, what about scoopity? He says... Little is known about. Oh no, that doesn't. That, that that's that that's too much. That was too helpful. That's too easy. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't, I can't rightfully. Take okay. It. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. Forget What's I said. What's the other it. country? What's the other country? The, the south of Sierra Leone. He got it. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You gave me the thing that it rhymed with. Man, it popped instantly. South of oh, Sierra Liberia. Leone is Liberia, but I only know that because I guessed it and it was wrong. 
Honestly, we should, we should take that one as a null game then. Null, no, yeah. Because you well, still I had mean, like four I, or five guesses left. I don't think I would have got it though, because my my brain locks out when I can't think of the country immediately. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well let's do uh, let's do uh, tra travel. Travel. Okay. Tra travel. I oh, this is the easiest. It's I think we're gonna tie on this one. Is yours? Um, Oh, so yours wasn't Slovakia to the Siachen Glacier? <laughs> no. Yours is Panama to Mexico? Yeah. Okay. I don't know if we'll tie. I, I have the opportunity to mess up Central America. Do you? I haven't done already. Okay. Well, you're going to go Mexico. You're going to follow it with Guatemala. And then there's going to be like a Costa Rica involved. Everybody knows that. And then, um, hi, Tomo. Nicaragua, probably is somewhere in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then this is the, because it's like El Salvador is like chilling down here. This must, in that case, be Honduras. He's got it. Oh, okay. It's hard. To, I, I think I'll never lose a Central America uh, to, or any, anything in the Americas. I don't think I can lose anymore. I, what if they put one like deep in the Caribbean? I think you'd be stuck there, <laughs> would you would not? You, would you go like Jamaica, Haiti, Cuba, Bar Antigua, and Barbuda? I've been getting good at remembering all of those. Uh, I went to Worldle, by the way. Big big Beach Boys fan. I'll join you on Worldle. What is this? It's simple. That's Japan. <laughs> is it this? I am very far away. This is... Um, it has a southeastern aquatic border, which to me indicates that this is Myanmar. Brother, it ain't even close to what Myanmar should be. <laughs> <laughs> Myanmar is such a, such a unique shape. Mm. True. True. What is going on here? Oh, well, th in that case, it must be this country. Is this this? I don't think it's this, but I don't know what else to guess. Okay, I've located the continent. Oh, is it this? It is not. I'm further away now. I think I'm in trouble, man. I'm 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 I'm, I'm dancing around this little this little thing. Is this you? Nope. Is it you? I got it. I have... In five? I have, well, I have one guess left to tie you then. This is the weakest area of the world in my geographical knowledge. It is 636 kilometers south of South Sudan. South or Sudan? Mm, I don't think they've made that one yet. This, it's so simple. It must be Zimbabwe. It, that's 3,000 kilometers too far. Very far. <laughs> I it, didn't know this country was shaped like this. To be this honest. must I be, I get this wrong all the time, this must be Tanzania. Uganda. <laughs> it does have a southeastern aquatic border. That's like Lake Victoria or whatever. Uh-huh. Oh, I've been trying to get better at Africa, like just mm -hmm. in general. Rivers Cuomo before, my... before his concert tour. <laughs> What's up next? Uh, we've gone through a lot of these already. You like um, a movie grid? You know, I mean... I don't uh, think it's fast enough today, so let's let's hit it up. It's okay. The serverless function is timed out. Your connection is working. There's a 504 gateway timeout. Um, repeating. Oh no, it works. <laughs> oh man. Okay, I can do one. I can get one of the squares. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm going one nuts on the table for nine. I got I got one square, and I'm really happy about that. I mean, Jim Carrey, Kate Winslet, that's, that's an easy one. I don't it's know perhaps Kate Winslet is. It must be one of my top 10 favorite movies of all time. 
Jim Carrey, Kate Winslet. Is this a, is this a Ace Ventura? It is. You got me. It's Ace Ventura, Pet Detective. Oh no. Jim Carrey, 1990 to 2024. That's the other one I will be able to get. Cause I know plenty of Jim Carrey movies, but you want to get one that's not well known, right? Here's my thing for Movie Grid, is that the people who play this are nerds. So that you can use that to your advantage because you'll think like, oh, I have an obvious guess, but I can't use it because it's obvious. But the most common guess is usually the first non-obvious guess that comes to mind, if that makes sense. So like I was playing Tom Cruise yesterday and like the Tom Cruise most common answer was like not one you would have expected because it's not one of his most popular movies, but because everybody was on the same line of like, we have to pick not one of his most popular movies. I remembered the movie I wanted to guess. What did you 1. guess? 1.4%. Wow. Oh. Okay. No, don't tell me then. Don't tell me because that's a, a great result. I, I had a Jim Carrey movie that I've seen and I'm like, I don't think that people are going to think of this one. Me? Nuts on the table. I'm going, I love you, Philip Morris. That's going to be a low... A low Andy. I don't mean to mog you, but I got a 1.3 on that one. That's, uh, you know, like you're going to win anyway, so I <laughs> Wait, what, what, was, what was the 1.4? Fun with Dick and Jane. Oh, I, I saw that on TV like a couple months ago. Mm -hmm. Kathy Bates is the tough one. I don't know who that is. Kathy Bates was in this movie <laughs> starring a guy. Um, I guess the other one of these. And then she was definitely in this as well. Then I have... Oh, you know what? No, no, no. I know exactly what Kathy Bates and Kate Winslet were in together. Because I saw that a couple months ago. Okay, now Jude Law. Oh, okay. That's a gimme. Wait, what? That's not a genre? Oh, that's not a drama movie? Wait, what did you guess? I guess uh, was twenty three the Jim Carrey movie that was really mm, bad. You know, I would I would treat that as a drama. They might have placed it as a thriller or that's, a horror that's movie. Bullshit, man. Well, I guess I'll just do this because I love this movie. I don't know. Uh, okay, apparently fifty percent of people guessed that one, so that's a shame. There's some Jude Law stuff that is. Well, I've gotten all the ones I can get. Uh, the, I, I don't know who Kate Winslet or Kathy Bates is, so I, I cannot get any of those lines. You don't know who Jude Law is? No, I got the Jude Law ones oh, that weren't sorry. Kate Winslet. <laughs> because I guessed Sherlock Holmes and then the sequel to Sherlock Holmes. Oh, oh that was a 32? I, I blew it, man. I thought I was, I was going crazy for doing the talented Mr. Ripley for a Jude Law drama. I forgot everybody who plays this is a nerd. You got to go with the one that's... I should have said like, well, you know what you should say then? You should say something like this because they're not going to expect it. Bro, Sherlock Holmes, we're both six percenters. Six percenters, wow. Yeah. That's the only movie I think I even know Jude Law's <laughs> in. I will say I put down a pretty good score. I was top five percent today. Um, my to my movies? Button. Contagion is Kate Winslet, Jude Law. Jude Law was also in uh -huh. Captain Marvel. And Jude I, Law I, is in The Talented Mr. Ripley. Kathy Bates, yeah. I won't bore you because <laughs> I don't know if you know who she is. She no. was in Rat Race, though. Have you seen that one? Oh, I have seen Rat Race. She who plays she the play? lady who says, you should have bought a squirrel. Oh, <laughs> wow. That's a deep cut. That's a tough one. She is in The Water Boy as well. She plays um, Mama Boucher. Hey, she doesn't say you should have bought a squirrel. The sign, the sign say says you it. should have bought I'm, a squirrel. I guess I'm implying, though we don't see it, that she wrote the sign. Right. Or had it know. commissioned, maybe. She's also in About Schmidt. Never heard of that one. It's a Jack Nicholson movie where she's got her tatas hanging out. I probably could have guessed Eternal Sunshine as a random Jim Carrey movie that has Kate Winslet in it because, I don't know, that's like one of the only other Jim Carrey movies I know of that are... It is. I think it's the only one they've done together. I was just happy I got a, a decent one point four percent or on the on one of them. That is good. That is good. Turns out guessing the Truman Show on John or Jim. <laughs> <is okay laughs> on the... Yeah, I played. Uh, I put the Majestic there, a Jim Carrey movie where he gets amnesia and then buys a movie theater and gets interrogated by uh, the Joseph McCarthy Commission to see if he's mm -hmm. a communist. It's a it's not very good. 
Is I'm just. I thought. I think twenty three should have got. I think that should have counted. No. Hey, I got one for you. Have you ever done spellcheck.xyz? I, I did it for the first time the other day, and I will tell you right now, I'm not great at spelling. <laughs> I don't and mean so to they, insult they, Daniel, but he did uh, two or three days ago. He did it, and he got seven out of fifteen. That's not great. The first I, five I, words are like hat. I I I was surprised they were giving me like weevil on the easy. Yeah, one. yeah. I was like that's hard, man. No, oh, all right. Well, okay, medium. That's like a medium <laughs> word. Shall we? Shall we try the spell check Let's daily? Do that. I'm already on all it, right. dude. I'm on it. Okay, okay word one. Slide. Okay, word one. A verb meaning. Pretty easy. I got it. Word two. Performance. Word two, pretty easy. A noun meaning the execution of. I got it. Word three. Pigsty. A noun meaning pig pen. Pigsty. <laughs> oh, a noun meaning What's pig pen. What's the rush? Pigsty. A noun meaning pig pen. <laughs> the way she said that. She's, she's the rattling way them she off. She says number four, man. Splurge. <laughs> a noun she's, meaning an she's lingering on that for sure. Zygote. How is. A yeah. noun meaning easy. I know how to spell it, but that's, that's a, ridiculous. That's a, that's a relatively tough, easy word for sure. I'm five for five, though. Can Same here. Same here. Mediums. Taxonomic. <laughs> a noun it's meaning over the. For me. This is one of the few things I learned from my scholastic career. Condensation. A I noun meaning the act or process. Okay, that's Beautician. Much a noun meaning a person licensed to. I'm still nuts on the table. I'm I'm eight for eight. Scoff. A noun meaning. Vellum, a noun meaning a fine-grained, unsplit lambskin, kidskin, or calfskin, thing? prepared especially for writing. Oh. No, no, no. I, I, there's room for you. I dumped one on medium. I'm still working on beauty. I got beautician wrong, dude. What the fuck? How do you spell beautician? Uh, B e a u t i c i a n. No. Oh, you've never seen the beautician in the beast? No. <laughs> That's fair. It's, it's not very good. Oh, you've heard of vellum? That one I got wrong. But you guys I are good also friends, so got I got that wrong. <laughs> I only got okay. two right on medium, man. It's not looking hard. Hard words could change everything. Aggrandizement, a oh, verb meaning to make great no. or greater, increase, enlarge. The word is from French aggrandir, composed of Latin ad. And grandis meaning great, aggrandizement, a verb meaning to make great or greater, wrong. increase, God, enlarge. The word thing. is. I got an X on it. <laughs> Pertinacity. Pertinacity. She's pertinacity. A <laughs> adjective meaning adhering resolutely to yes, an opinion, please. purpose, or design. Pertinax combines Latin per meaning thoroughly and tenax for tenacious. Pertinacity. A adjective. I got it right. The dude. Oh, mm, I got it wrong. I'm in trouble, bro. I'm in trouble. Pertinacity, okay? Putch. A noun meaning a secretly plotted... Word three, they had um, like two days ago. That's not fair. Anemone. A noun meaning any of a large... Altazimuth. I'm not going to get A noun putch. meaning a telescope mounted so that it... It's not what I thought it was. Wait until you get to word number five. Altazimuth. A noun meaning a telescope Anemone. mounted so that it can swing horizontally and vertically. Exactly also, like, any it? of okay, several other easy. similarly mounted instruments. I'm sorry, Altitude and azimuth both tower, originate altazimuth? from international <laughs> scientific <laughs> vocabulary. <laughs> altazimuth. The, the a noun meaning lizard. a telescope mounted so that it can swing horizontally and vertically. Also, any of several other similar... Yeah, I got that one wrong. <laughs> altazimuth. Oh. Altazimuth. Got that wrong. I got 11. I got not that. Uh, two, four, two, four, six, eight, nine. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought. Hey, oh, I'm being told, by the way, so I got aggrandizement wrong. I'm being told that's an American regional spelling with the Z, that, that uncouth letter. In North, well, I was going to say North America, but in Canada, we use an S, bro. An S is so much softer. It just, it, it knocks on your door and says, hey, I'm here when you're ready. A Z, like, kicks down the door and says, like, open up, FBI. I missed a G on that one anyway, so it wasn't happening for me. I can't believe I got pertinent. <laughs> that is amazing.
Uh, I'm just happy I got that in the nem and you do too hard. I'll take too hard. What do you think the odds are if, if you had an hour? Do you think you could spell Altazimuth the way that it wanted you to spell it? I don't. I mean, no. Yeah. It, no. I, it never would have happened for me. It's not. I have two vowels swapped. I got an S instead of a Z. It's just not happening. That was a hard one today. I'm telling you, man, some of the, the like, the difference between taxonomic and scoff is insulting. That is true. I don't know. My chat's freaking me out. Like, why do so many people, they're like, you, if you know what azimuth is, it's actually really easy to spell. And I'm like, well, what the, what the hell is azimuth? Never heard of it. Also, I see, I, if I would have waited for you to make the Elam joke a little bit quicker, I would have ah, got yeah. it. This is, this is exactly how you spell it. I feel like I'm getting gaslit, bro. Everyone in chat is like, you've really never heard of Azimuth? <laughs> bro, bro, they, uh, it's insane, dude. Like, I feel like, I feel like as streamers, you just got to deal with like the, because there's like what, you got like, you know, so, some thousand people in chat, right? You're going to have like 20 people who know what it is and That's also true. think they're the coolest person ever for knowing <laughs> and they got to come at you for it. When in reality, there's another like 8,000 people who are like, I don't know what the fuck that is. But they're just not typing, you know? Yeah, yeah. They know what's good for him. Well, listen. Coscodal? <laughs> oh, man. Coscodal? Coscodal? Oh, am I lagging? A little bit, yeah. Oh, I'm lagging. Hold I on. think you're, you're back. I got red bars on, ob on OBS. I actually thought I crossed the line by laughing after I said Costco to lag. It felt kind of bad. Uh, no, no, no. I was like, oh, oh I'm, I'm laying it on too thick. I've disconnected from my stream. You're still, your, your audio is coming through real nice on Discord now. Let me just restart this bad boy. Oh, could not access specified channel or stream key? Oh, could not access specified channel or stream key? Are you still there? Yes, hello. Okay, you're my, you're my tie to knowing whether or not my whole internet has died. I'll be happy to tech support you. I, th I think what happens is sometimes your Twitch stream gets disconnected and then Twitch holds onto the stream for like five minutes and is like, mm. oh, you, you, you're going to come back, right? And then when you hit end stream, it doesn't let you reconnect until they let go. Okay, we're back. All right, Coscodal then. Coscodal. Coscodal. Oh my God, it's a fucking bullet. The Dude. Nutra Bullet Pro single serve blender with a matte finish. Oh, I'm going right here. Oh, oh I got a yellow on the first one. I like that. I, I also got a yellow on the first one. I got it exactly on the second try. I also got it exactly Fuck on the second try. Fuck you. Did you guess sixty nine ninety nine? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Those, bitch, are, those are my exact guesses. This is my strongest performance yet. I'm still fucking tied. Oh. I was like, they sold this in infomercials, so it can't be that expensive. Yeah, it also sucks. I bought the original bullet, or I told my mom to buy the original bullet when I was like 11 years old, and that shit was, it couldn't even make a damn milkshake. As, like a, as an 11 year old, you were like, I'm going to have smoothies every morning? Bro, I was like, no, milkshakes, dude. Oh, milkshakes. I guess. And it didn't, it couldn't even do that, man. It couldn't even blend fucking ice cream, man. I'm a big believer in the idea that a blender is one of the worst kitchen appliances you could own in your house. I mean, unless you, you know, like make smoothies. I'm going to give you my reasoning. Um, a, they're very loud, which is a necessity, yeah. I understand. Uh -huh. And B, they're super annoying to clean and i know they're annoying to clean because i've cleaned them but also because every blender is like it's easy to clean which is something you only say about something that's hard to clean <laughs> he's right he's right it's the same thing if someone tells you oh this is such an easy recipe exactly it's, it's the biggest red flag imaginable it's like the slap chop you, you ever see vince tell you the slap chop's easy to clean and then he like breaks the slap chop and folds it into like five different pieces so the blades that's are that's like that's to jail man he was he going is, crazy he, he cleaning his slap chop, dude. he did go to prison <laughs> and i then, will say i have a vitamix okay and i do like it um i haven't used it in a while because i stopped making smoothies which is what i, I got it for 
but I, you know, like it's there. And if I make smoothies again, which I probably will, then it'll be useful again. I feel, well, that's what happened. This is my main reason for why I think a blender is bad is because the fact that it's uh, even slightly annoying to clean means you're incentivized to use it less. Now, this is true for a lot of appliances. Like people buy them and then they use them for like a week and then they're like, I don't really feel like going through the rigmarole this morning. And then like they use it two times the next week and then they put it in the closet and they don't use it again for like three years. So I yeah. feel like for me personally, people are like, my blender is really easy to clean. Okay, is it on your counter right now? Or is it in a shelf that is like above your refrigerator that you need a step ladder to get to? That's my question. If you use it, every my mom uses her blender every day. She's got some time on her hands. I think I if you're say, they live in a nor more normal, like you're, if you're pinched in the morning, you're, you're like smoothies are so easy to make. But then, you know, you leave the blender in the sink because you're like, I don't have time to wash it before work. Then you come home and it's all caked onto the side. And uh, like it smells like a compost bin and you're like, Ugh. I pretty much I will say that as long as you're not making something that's going to splatter all the way up the entire blender, mm. which means you don't have to blend it on like high speed, then like you do just kind of like put some water in it and some soap and you just like it takes like 10 seconds. But that that's just for a smoothie. I can't speak for like, you know. Some some like like sauce making mm. like full cook stuff where you get shit everywhere. I guess I just don't like smoothies that much. I was doing it less for more, more for like a protein powder, you know. No, I just I use the shaker bottle. I I try I, I I think there was one day where I was like I really don't want to clean the blender, and so I was just like, can I put protein powder in a in a thing and just pour some milk on it and mix it up? No, you can't do that. Yeah, because the, the, the ball of protein powder it gets wet on the outside and that insulates the inside. So you drink yeah. and you get a lump, and then the lump is just sand. And it does not, even though it says like vanilla sugar wonderland, it does not taste like that. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> that is definitely true. And I'll tell you something, when I was maybe, this is like 12th grade or my first year of college, I was really tight on my macros, because in the summertime I was doing a cut, so I could be like, I don't know, 127 pounds when I went back to school that fall. So I didn't even use milk in my protein shakes. I was just shaking them up with like lukewarm water. Oh man! And when you got a when you got a glob of sand in your lukewarm water protein shake, it's it it hits different. And then you don't wash it for eight hours, and then you smell it, and it smells like like a okay, hot dumpster. That's, like that's a cell phone though. No, that's that's. <laughs> I have uh, like fiber powder that I gotta put into like a glass of water and drink. Yeah, which yeah, is yeah. just annoying, but gotta do it. But, like, it's funny because it just doesn't mix. Like, the fiber is, it does what it's supposed to do. It mixes, like, instantly. But all the sugar mm. just falls to the bottom. So yeah, you're not yeah, careful. Yeah. And you, like, drink it really fast like you're supposed to. And you get to the end, you'll just get a fucking, like, like 20 grams of sugar with a little bit of water going down. And it's just, look, it does not. Sugar is great. But, like, drinking a whole fucking thing of, like, wet sugar is not good. Yeah. It's too much, man. Yeah. They got to invent, like, a better water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you ever had soft water before? I don't know. I don't know the difference. I, I know it, it's harder to tell whether water is soft or hard once you lose your hair. Because, you, you know, you would like go to a shower and then you'd be like, oh, my hair feels like copper wires. Like this water must be hard. Nowadays, I just don't know. I, we got water from a well um, or like, like a, a personal like well in our old house. And uh, it was just the worst experience to take a shower because the water was very hard. But worse than that, is the iron in the water would literally block, it would slowly gum up each individual like pore oh, yeah, from yeah. the shower head. And it was this gross, like orange brown, like fungus color. It was just iron and like metals, but seeing that while you're trying to take a shower is just the most disgusting thing ever. Cause you're like, all the water is touching that and then touching me. But think about it, it's like a cast iron shower head. Yeah, well, it was great. We had to go into the attic every like three weeks and uh, <laughs> open up the pipe and basically shoot out this was essentially like a wad of metal like goop that is crazy <laughs> yeah. that's you, disgusting like, it was awful oh man okay dull wise uh, i'm thinking i mean i'll i'll level with you i got like 
like six movie dolls we left. can do movie i feel like the the battle's pretty much over i don't think i have a chance of catching back up unless someone can bring up a, a bunch of more video game dolls maybe but i lost all those too so how, how about box office ga.me box oh, okay if as long as it's a year past like 98 i might have a chance i have some absolutely horrible news for you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's no. two, two weeks before you're cut off <laughs> <laughs> oh. all right i'm gonna i'm gonna mute because i gotta talk okay, this one okay. out yeah 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 oh man that's good stuff paramount pictures 97 christmas weekend Roughly open to 28 million, starring Leonardo DiCaprio post Titanic. This would be the beach. This would be Titanic. Okay, 28 million dollar opening, kind of crazy because it made like a billion dollars at the box office. That doesn't happen that much anymore. I was like, it went 50, 50 x on its opening week gross. MGM. $25 million. MGM, I always think of James Bond. I think I would be stupid to not at least try Tomorrow Never Dies. Okay, that's just, that's logic, bro. That's logic. I know it, there were so many things in my head that were like, don't type James Bond. You're like, you really think that James Bond wouldn't open number one at the box office over Titanic before people knew that Titanic was going to be the biggest movie of all time? But then I said, no, 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 go with your logic. Okay, a movie that fell off 58%, so probably not that well liked by the audiences, or maybe Titanic. I, I, not not oh, to interrupt, yeah. but I, I kind of popped off getting okay. number five with just the tagline, and I was Holy. so happy for myself. I'm not even there. I'm still, I'm still at number oh, three. Oh, I, I, I skipped to it because it said Disney. I thought it was my um, best chance. Okay, okay. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, it's possible that these two movies ate its lunch. Let's see who's in it. Nev Campbell, 1997. So this is Scream... I believe Scream 1 came out in 1996. That would make this Scream 2. DreamWorks 1997. This is pre-Shrek. Tagline. Who's hunting who? I'm going to skip on that one for a second. I'm confused. Unless it's like Looney Tunes back in action. But I guess that probably wouldn't be DreamWorks. Walt Disney. Let's, let's match Apollo uh, band for band. Catch it if you can. That darn cat. Nope. Starring Robin. Oh, it's Flubber. Of course. Flubber. And DreamWorks. Starring Nathan Lane. Oh, who's hunting? This is the... Um, um, the, the, the borrowers? Oh, maybe it's animated? Genre, comedy family, Stuart Little. No, that would have Jonathan Lipnicki. It's the one I, I saw, I rented this. It's not the borrowers, but it's called something like that. Down on their luck, brothers aren't happy with the crumbling old mansion they inherit until they discover the estate is worth millions. Oh my god, it's Stuart Little, isn't it? <laughs> A tiny and tenacious mouse. Mouse mouse trap. Mouse catchers. Mouse Mouse Hunt! Thank you! Mouse Hunt! <laughs> okay. Oh. I got there, but it took me it took me a little while. I'm fucking pissed, dude. I'm on the James Bond one. I typed in tomorrow and it didn't come up. And so I gave up. Because I was like, I only know that's a couple of up. James Bond movies, man. That is messed up. Did you get Mouse Hunt? I did. How uh, the I, fuck? I, I, I rented it when I was a kid. Insane. Can you Well, look at this poster. How could you see that at the video store and pick <laughs> something else? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and that, is, I, I, is I got them all. Is this like Scream 2? It, it is Scream 2. Okay. He's I, I, got, uh, I feel like I should have gotten Tomorrow Never Dies. I feel like that one was a bit... That is crazy. Cheese, like, I, I was not getting Mouse Hunt, though. That wasn't happening. Did you get number one? 
I did. I had to movie. reveal all the hints, which was a bit embarrassing. <laughs> well, no, I, 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 I revealed the tagline. I went, oh, I don't know what the fuck this is. And I should have revealed the director and the actor. I would have gotten it then, probably. Yeah, the tagline is not helpful on that one. No, no, no. Nothing on Earth could notebook. come between them. Something on Earth literally comes between them. That's yes. like the, it's the most <laughs> dishonest tagline of all time. <laughs> I'm just, I was just excited because I saw Catch It If You Can and I was like, that's, that's gotta be Flubber, dude. I, I was impressed. I, I tried to match you on that one. I went tagline and did not get it. And then I went uh, actor and I was yeah, like, I'll uh, give it away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ooh. man. We haven't done movie to movie. Oh, dude, this one is bad for my brain. You genuinely have a shot if we're going on links I... or on time. I'm if, trying to identify, and I guess I'll start with the Musketeers because I don't know. Is that fucking Michael Sarah? <laughs> like with the dude it, in the middle? It, I was gonna say the same thing. <laughs> this is oh. that I don't. I know that that's Orlando Bloom, and that's Christoph Waltz, aka Hans Landa. That, that does look like Michael Sarah. Okay. Well, I will. I'll, I'll mute. Okay. We're going to try to get to Lord of War. All right. Okay. Three, two, one, go. I don't know what direction to go to. Here's what I'm going to say first. Um, try the daily challenge. Give me... S s um, start here. Luke Evans, Beauty and the Beast. That takes you to Josh Gad, who is in Murder on the Orient Express. But you must star someone who has been in a movie with Nicolas Cage. Nicolas Cage has certainly been in a movie with one of these people. But we'll go Kenneth Branagh. We'll take that to Tenet. Really good idea. Now you're in Tenet. With Aaron Taylor Johnson, who is in Kick-Ass with Nicolas Cage. Excuse me. With Nick, there he is right there, who is in Lord of War. Time? Yeah, that's tough. I, I didn't get off the first person I clicked on. Who, where'd you go? I went Christoph Waltz, which I think was a bit of a mistake. Takes you to uh, Inglorious Bastards? Yeah, that's the big one. Um, and then... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I went... Uh, okay, check oh, yeah, this. You, you ready, ready for where, this? Where'd you go? Three Musketeers... Luke uh -huh. Evans, who played Gaston in the 2017 live-action remake of Beauty and the Beast, starring okay. Josh Gad as Gaston's underling, who was also in Murder on the Orient Express, starring Kenneth Branagh, who was the bad guy in Tenant, which features Aaron Taylor Johnson, who played Kick-Ass in Kick-Ass, with Nicolas Cage as Big Daddy, who is the star of Lord of War. It's crazy because you go at, at an insane speed, but it's also a detriment because sometimes you just get stuck in like an infinite like loop. Yes, it happens when a lot. You don't, when, when you don't, you, really, you go fast. I think I'm, I'm very much, I'm a streaky player. My brain doesn't work well at going between two points, but it does really well at just keeping the wheels turning. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, Nicolas Cage is tough for me because like I can name plenty of Nicolas Cage movies but they're also movies where I don't know anyone else in the movies mm, okay that's fair like I know he's in Knowing that was a movie who the hell else is in that um, I could not tell you but I believe yeah, exactly. I want to say that maybe it was Audrey Tattoo played the female lead also known as uh, the lead actress from Amelie oh that's Chipley's favorite can I get a, a gut check on that one Chet can I get an IMDb check? Who played the female lead in Knowing 2008? Hey, there's also National Treasure, which can't really name anyone else in that. Oh, excuse me, Diane Kruger's in that one. Who is, check this out, in Inglorious Bastards. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, that's a good one. Uh, Christoph Watts, Inglorious Bastards, Diane Kruger, National Treasure, Nicolas Cage. Wow. Yeah, and then, oh, you know, Sean Bean's in National Treasure. I'd used that before, didn't I? How would I have gotten to Sean Bean? I don't know. 
LaShawn Lord Lord Mean. Rose Byrne is the female lead in Knowing. Okay, okay. In a truly insane movie. This is the one where the rapture happens, right? Yes. I saw that it's one. It's very, very weird. And it's also just very violent. It's like one of the most violent movies I've ever watched. The, the like subway scene is just an insane. Like, I don't remember cinema. that at all. He's on the damn train, and then the train derails, and it derails onto the platform, and they have this camera angle of just people smacking, like, just running into the front of the train. It's awful. It's, like, so violent. You a big uh, NHL guy? Uh, no. We could skip this one, then. Yeah, yeah. Like, you couldn't tell me someone who played for the Boston Bruins who has 800 career assists? I want, to, I want to reiterate that I can name Sidney Crosby <laughs> and Wayne Gretzky. I couldn't even tell you what team Wayne Gretzky was on. I just know that he's... Take a, a guess. If you, had to, if you had to guess what team... He's on uh, three teams, four teams. I'm going to say he was on a, a Canadian team. That's correct. And I'll say that he was on the Maple Leafs. That would have gone crazy, but it did not happen. No. That would have been insane. He would be the wealthiest man in Canada for sure. Isn't he probably already the wealthiest man in Canada anyway? Excuse me, he's probably the CEO of Royal Bank or something. Or the dude okay. who invented Shopify. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Did we, uh, but there's gotta be a dull we haven't, we haven't hit. How much time we got till? Like six minutes. Oh. Hmm. How about, uh, do you do mini crossword? Uh, I, I've done it. I can do it. I think uh, battling you in crosswords is is a is a dastardly deed, but I could I could give it a go. Oh, we are, you know what? Forget about that. Let's go meta zoodle. Meta zoo. All right. This one's hard. I'm I am very bad at this. Is it? Do I have to go to like the homepage to get to the daily? I just want to make sure I'm on the right one. I don't know. I and just, enter I just the win. zoo. Is yours an animal? Uh yeah. Okay, we must, an, be, anim, we must be on the same one. Then. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna mute. I gotta talk okay. this one through. Okay, you ready? Let's let's zoom in a touch here. It's an animal. It is probably going to be a mosquito, if I had to guess. Its closest analog is a proposed animal clade containing the extant phyla Arthropoda. Okay, so it's an insect. They're, they're, it's an insect that also includes extinct marine-legged worms known as Lobopodians. But it's, it's an insect, Pan Arthropodia, Arthropoda indicates to me that it's a bigger group than the arthropods. Ergo, it's probably far away from... I have uh, got it in four. What the fuck did you say to me? <laughs> I got it in four. How? Okay, well, listen, I'm on... I've only guessed once. I don't think I'm going to get it in four. That's insane. Uh, I'm going to try, though. I know that it is a pseudo-insect. Yes. Like, perhaps... A dung beetle. Okay, that has not moved us any... Well, no, wait, it might have moved us a little further. No, it didn't. Maybe it did. I never know how to read this game, but perhaps it is a... an insect known as a honeybee. Perhaps it's an uh, extinct marine-legged worm. Like I will a... give you a hint in that <laughs> my, one of my first hints was like, it's not in the 99% of all animals. What the it's hell does that mean? Special group. <laughs> <laughs> it means it's real fucking weird. Uh, okay, and it's, using uh, that information, I was like, ah, let me guess the weirdest thing on the planet. It's a mantis shrimp. You, you gotta go weirder, man. It's not a member of Pan Crustacea? It might literally be the weirdest living being that exists. Sea urchin. You're not weird enough, man. That's weird as fuck, bro. It's a ball no. of spikes. That you shit isn't go. even in Panarthropoda. That's in the Bilateria. 
It just means this, this shit is symmetrical. Weirder. Can I ask it's, you, does it live in the ocean? I think it lives literally everywhere. In fact, it's known for living literally everywhere. Cockroach. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a cockroach. I think, I think it's, its whole deal is the fact that it quite literally lives anywhere. Trilobites. Tardigrade. Tardigrades. Ooh. I, I think... It, it, was, it was tardigrades? It was a tardigrade. That was a great uh, clue. I, I went off on a rant. I hate any animal that is this size. Right? Did you see? I don't even want to show you just in case you have the same, um, like, I don't know what to say. Like, it's not trauma, really. It's not like a, maybe phobia? it is a phobia, I guess. But it was a, a tweet that said, me and my oomphs chilling in the Precambrian explosion. And it was a Petri dish with water in it, full of like rudimentary, primordial, unicellular, uh, I don't even know what to call them, like diatoms? <laughs> uh -huh. Like basically like jellyfish amoebas that were like super brightly colored and like all look like they're aliens and stuff like that. And that, I was telling Chad, it, it makes me uneasy to look at it, for one. But if you told me that there were two rooms and in one of the rooms was a swimming pool full of those that I had to jump into where I would probably be safe and the other one had a room with a guy with a gun in it that would shoot me, <laughs> I would jump in the pool, but I would at least think about it for like 120 seconds. I thought you were going to say like a pool with like sharks or piranhas or some shit. You just went straight <laughs> to man with a gun. It's like I know that my, the outcome would be worse, but at least it would be like fast and I don't know, like less disgusting. Whereas, I, like, the, the amoebas, I'm like, I don't know, man. I've been linked. The tw I've, I do not get a visceral reaction to it. Um, but I think I understand the, 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 the fear. Because, like, yeah, it looks like there are things. It looks like what you see in a horror movie that surrounds someone and then, like, melts them from the outside in. You know? Like. Me and the oomphs during the Cambrian explosion. I'm going to look at it again. No, it's it it causes me to like I have like a like a butthole pucker that happens when I see this. I see I have the 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 one that I feel like everyone says is like you're making it up it's fake, but like was it trapophobia that one? The the holes. It's not just like any hole. It's like this really specific like gross hole. And it doesn't and I'm not scared of it. It makes me nauseous. I understand. That's I, 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 two weeks ago, I would have said you're making it up for attention. Now that I'm looking at these diatoms, I'm like, I get it now. Yeah, it just it just makes me like genuinely like I'm going to throw up. Like, I'm not like, oh, no, they're going to get me. But like, I got to look away. I hate these motherfuckers, man. <laughs> I hate this shit. <laughs> Can you imagine like swallowing one in a glass of water by accident? I think you would kill it much faster than it would kill you. I don't want it. Or maybe you'd get like superpowers or something. What the fuck is a diatom? Are these diatoms a large group consisting of several genera of algae? Why can't scientists just talk like normal people, bro? You could tell me a diatom is the thing that comes out of a Beyblade and I'd believe you. <laughs> I was told that in, in um, bio biology school, they told us that if you don't have toothpaste, you could just crush up some diatoms and use it as toothpaste. And I was like, thank you, professor, for the least <laughs> practical Helpful. tip I've ever heard in my entire life. <laughs> oh. Like, oh, I can't seem to find toothpaste anywhere. Let me just go, I don't know, sift for some diatoms out of the local creek or something like that. Like, I don't, I don't know what the hell he was talking about, man. Oh, 